Good evening, Titans. This is Mr. Simpson. And tonight, we're going to be discussing special products of polynomials. So, um, go ahead and get out your student journals or your notebooks and be ready to uh, copy down. All right, the first core concept is when we square a binomial. Now, there is a pattern to this, and We'll teach the pattern, but we typically don't make you use the pattern to multiply binomials. The most important thing is that if you have a binomial and that's raised to a second power, you have to know the only way to multiply that is to write that binomial down twice and then use the methods we learned in 7.2, which means you could FOIL it you could use the box method, or you could just distribute. But as you see in this core concept up here, there's a pattern that can be used as well. And it's the first term squared of that binomial. It's the product of the two terms times 2 for the middle term. And then it's the last term squared. And it doesn't matter whether it's a plus sign or a minus sign in the, in the middle. The uh, pattern is the same. Just notice that if it's a minus sign in the middle, then it's a minus sign in the middle term there. So if we take a look at this, I mean, if we do it the way I would probably teach you is either write it as 3x plus 4 times 3x plus 4 and then just use the FOIL method. First times first is 9x squared. Outside times outside is plus 12x. Inside times inside is plus 12x. And then last times last is plus 16. And now we have 9x squared plus, notice why that middle term is multiplied by 2, because we have two identical terms, which with this case would add up to 24x plus 16. And then there's your final answer. All right, and go ahead and erase this one. And if we look at this next one, I could set it up using the box method if I wanted to. And so I'd have 5x minus 2y and 5x minus 2y. And then 5x times 5x is 25x to the second. 5x times negative 2y would be a negative 10xy. Negative 2y times 5x, again, would be a negative 10xy. And then negative 2y times negative 2y would be a positive 4y to the second. Now, again, we just write it down, 25x squared. Again, our day, main diagonal, or like term, so it's negative 20xy. And then the last term, plus 4y squared. And so even though there is a pattern that we can develop, and you might use that pattern once you've done enough of these using either the FOIL method or the BOX method, but right now we're just good with you using either the FOIL or BOX method to find your product. 